This is a short video on how to avoid vomiting from a stomach bug, or more correctly, a gastrointestinal virus. This discovery was made as a result of some loosely connected research on morning sickness. You know how it goes. Someone in your community, at work or school, just threw up around you. Or perhaps they have just returned from two or three days out with a severe stomach bug. You know you have been exposed to their viruses and that only a few of those viruses are necessary to infect you as well. And then within a day or two, you yourself feel twinges and a cramping pain in your stomach. Is there nothing you can do? Actually, based on observations of several friends and relatives and myself, there is something you can do. When you are still at the twinges and cramping pain stage, drink a lot of barley water, eat a lot of lentils, or take a molybdenum supplement. Based on what I have seen, that virus will then pass through you with no worse than the initial stomach pain and maybe some diarrhea to let you know the virus really was there. And that's it. If you're like me a little less than two years ago, you are currently asking yourself, molybdenum? What's that? Molybdenum is an overlooked but essential trace micronutrient in the human diet. It is element 42 on the periodic chart. It is used by at least five enzymes in the human body that we know of. Among other things, it is necessary to break down sulfite to sulfate via an enzyme called sulfite oxidase. In our food, molybdenum is highest in legumes. It is also found in barley, oats, liver, cream, and nuts. I think the high level of molybdenum in legumes could explain the severity of travels diarrhea, where rich Western tourists who not, are not accustomed to a high intake of legumes are exposed to illnesses that send them to their hotel room vomiting for days, but do not seem to affect the local people as severely. Incidentally, it's still not widely known, but zinc can help with diarrhea and is officially recommended by the World Health Organization to be used for diarrhea in children. There is already an established RDA for molybdenum. Here is the recommended daily allowance of molybdenum. These numbers are tiny amounts. These are micrograms. That's one thousandth of a milligram. So to put it in perspective, children are recommended to have at least 17 micrograms of molybdenum each day if they are between the ages of one and three. Children of that same age are supposed to have approximately 15 milligrams of vitamin C. A milligram is 1,000 times as large as a microgram. So as you can see, these are very tiny amounts of molybdenum that we need, but they are necessary. Without molybdenum at all, humans become very sick. On this slide, I've put for you the established upper tolerable limits for molybdenum intake. These numbers are micrograms per day. As a disclaimer, I am not a doctor. This is not a prescription. This video is merely a report of what I have been seeing occur in many people, combined with some basic information on a micronutrient. I refuse to accept any and all responsibility for any harm that might come to anyone from taking a molybdenum supplement or eating foods high in molybdenum. I have no financial motive in making this video. And finally, as a serious plea to anyone who is a physician or a researcher, please take this report seriously. And once you've observed for yourself the efficacy of molybdenum for halting nausea and vomiting from gastrointestinal viruses, please establish appropriate protocols so that people may utilize molybdenum safely for this purpose. Thank you.